Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Insurgents! Let's play my very first journey through this critically acclaimed Pokémon fan game. If you haven't enjoyed the series, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. And if you missed the last episode, make sure you check it out so you know what the booty is going on! Also, if you like this cool space pattern shirt of mine, it's from my lovely sponsor, Into the AM. If you want to pick some of their stuff up, link is in the description below. Use code MJTV for 10% off. All right. Before we enter the Pokemon League, I have to go over quite a bit of things. <laughs> first off, actually no, I'll explain the League first, and then I'll go over what I've changed about my team. Okay, so, uh, the League is way more complicated than your standard Pokemon League. Yes, it has the Elite Four and the Champion, and it's like the later generations of games where you can choose the order that you battle the Elite Four, that kind of thing. Um, however, the level of the Pokemon scales with yours. I don't know exactly how it scales, because the levels that they have listed on the Insurgents Wiki are the minimums. But the minimum levels across a team are not all the same. There's like some that's like 88, some that's 90, that kind of thing. And it scales your team based on the level of your... It scales the Elite Four members' teams based on the level... The highest level of your Pokemon. Uh, the level of your highest level Pokemon. But I don't know how exactly it scales because the minimums are different. I don't know if it's like, oh, the Elite Four members' highest will match yours. And the other ones will be one or two less, or if the Elite Four members' lowest will match your highest. I don't know. I just know that it scales. Shouldn't matter too much, because my Pokemon are all the same level, but whatever. Um, there are different rules depending on what mode you're playing. If you're on easy mode, which is what I am on, everything is the same. No changes. If you're on normal mode, it forces you to do set battle style, you know, where... Like a standard competitive battling, you know, you don't get informed, oh, hey, they're sending in this Pokemon, that kind of thing. Um, in hard mode is forces you to do set, but neither you nor the Elite Four can use items. I'm staying on easy mode, because that's what I've been playing since Gym 3, that's what I'm going to stay with. Um, but there's one thing that was on the site that's kind of like, wait, what's going to happen? And that says the game is currently bugged to where easy mode, in easy mode, it still has the normal mode teams. Which is very confusing to me for multiple reasons. Number one, the minimum levels for easy and normal mode are different. In easy mode, it's like the minimum level is 87. In normal mode, it's like the minimum is like 89. So it's like, I don't know if the levels are different or if it's just the species, the move sets, and the items and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully that still means that it'll work properly to where we can do switch battle style, because if not, we may not win. <laughs> so I, I kind of know what to expect, but also not fully what to expect. Also, I spent like no time looking at the teams. I like got glances at them, but I didn't look and like study move sets or anything. I just saw what level they were and then kind of moved on. Um, so, with all that explanation out of the way, I got my entire team up to 87 across the board, because like I said, I'm pretty sure that was the minimum level for easy mode. Like I said, it remains to be seen what level they're actually going to be. <laughs> um, I have changed movesets and held items a bit. I gave Lumiere a pixie plate and I also taught her via move tutor earth power because I realized, oh hey, she actually matches up really good against fire types because of flash fire. I'll give her earth power so she has a super effective move against fire types. Um, he is the same, except I give him a life orb. He is, I, ch I changed vegan quite a bit. I deleted Body Slam and Synthesis because I never used them. I gave him Drain Punch for just some extra coverage and recovery and Belly Drum uh, because I've, somebody told me that like uh, Delta Snorlax with Belly Drum can be very OP because um, his HP is so high. If he Belly Drums, he's likely to survive whatever hit comes next and then you can just potion him back up and you've got a max attack Snorlax. So might end up utilizing that. 
Uh, Phobia is exactly the same, and Blastoise is exactly the same, except, of course, leveled up. But yeah, so, now that I've explained all that stuff, because there's a lot to explain, let's enter the Pokemon League. Yes. Because you're in the easy difficulty, you can use both items and use shift mode. Um, oh, it forces you to save. Okay. All right. Exciting. Need my coffee. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, there's... Okay, those are... There's... Are there doors up here, too, I'm guessing? No? Are there... There are only two doors? Shouldn't there be four? Oh, okay. All right, well, I guess we'll just go left to right. Ooh! Fancy! This chick totally likes fairy types. So we're gonna put Gil in front. And heavy slam the crap out of some stuff. Also, I have plenty of items to heal between battles. Well, who is this? Sup, Challenger? I'm Kayla, the Elite Four. I specialize in hard work and harmony. Those are not types. All my Pokemon know their place, and together with my strategy, they'll never lose. So you're Michael? Not one for a lot of talking, so let's get going, you know? Don't take it too personally when you get crushed. All right, the first battle. Her face looks weird. <laughs> Smeargle, wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, let's bring in Raphael. Moody Smeargle. That's fantastic. Um, should I Mega Evolve him? I think I, I probably should. He is my best Mega Evolution. Yikes. How is it not attacking? It's just Moody's changing its stats, but it's not attacking at all. <gasps> that was terrifying! Oh, thank God for priority, and that Aura Sphere did so much! Oh my God! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting a Baton Pass. Yikes. Okay. Looks like she likes to baton pass. So let's burn it. All right, we burned Sylveon. Okay, this is clearly her preferred strategy. Let's go into Gil. Heavy slam this thing. Yeah, she she's built up her special defense. She hasn't built up her physical defense at all. Yeah, all right. Scizor again. All right. It probably baton passes, so I'm actually gonna go into Raphael. Because Raphael is not weak to bug. And this is neutral. She's doubled the attack of an Espeon? Her strategies are weird. This is a weird battle, guys. <laughs> Every single member of her team knows Baton Pass, and that's crazy. What? We just outcode that slow, bro. 
This is a this is the one of the weirdest battles I've ever done. Like uses baton pass, but it's like it doesn't affect Raphael. Yeah, why does why is it saying that? Okay, well we beat it with vacuum wave. No, I'm not gonna. You can't get out of here now. Stored power. Okay. She had interesting strats, but it's just like her po her team wasn't able to hold on, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we need to heal. Do we need to even need to heal? That was a quick battle. Uh, I took like no damage. <laughs> Sweet. Fresh water. Well, we'll give Gil a drink. So, okay, the rooms don't appear to have actually any indication at all of the typing. Okay, that's how that works. Although this looks like it might be a rock type. <laughs> uh, is anybody's like PP really hurting? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um, nine out of 10. Use a solid chunk of dark pulses. And, I mean, yeah, no, we're, we've we got plenty. We're good. We, we good, we Gucci. All right, who's this guy? He looks like, oh, I don't play Overwatch, but what's the name of the guy who's like, it's high noon? McCree, is that his name? From a distance, he looks like that. Now, what do we got here? He appears to be a country boy too. Challenger, we haven't had one of those in a while, no sir! The name's Ed, Ed, is that? That's a weird way to spell Edward. I'm an Elite Four member, and you can probably, as you can probably tell, sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere, but I love it all. <laughs> I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, the developers and their memes. You're gonna get shut down so hard, you don't even know what hits you. He is very tall. Ah, oh, nuts, we're weak to ground. All the same. Let's see how much this does. Dang it. I thought that might happen, but I figured I would just try, you know? Okay, Phobia is gonna be helpful. Because Phobia's not hurt by the sand. Yeah, I probably should have preserved Gil. I'm feeling kind of dumb. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. He probably heals this turn, so we're gonna go for Belly Drum. Yep. My leftovers cancels out the sand. And it is Gen 6, so the sand will end. Cack turn. No, because I have Drain Punch. Whoa, Mega Mixtape? Whoa, that's dope. We survived. Let's go! Okay, this thing probably outspeeds, so we do need to heal. But he did send out the Tyranitar before the storm ended, which means it's still probably gonna end soon. You gotta be kidding me. What is with the freaking crits? Okay, that'll do less damage because he's lowering his attack. Okay, so now we're definitely good. Yeah, that's gonna do even less than before.
Sweet. Age of Slash. Now nah, we got Earthquake. I want the Sandstorm to freaking end. It's fine. We don't have our attack lowered. Oh, let's go! It ended! Ha! You're dead now. Yep. Man, I should have given him Belly Drum earlier. <laughs> I don't make contact! We'll live that. Yep, that was a crit. Yep. And you're dead four times. Rotom. <laughs> I'm. This is still gonna one kit. Yes. Vegan is a god. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh! I should have given him belly drum so much sooner. Good lord, that was so cool! Wow! I O-code his entire team! I mean, sometimes it took a little bit for me to be able to O-code him, but... Man! I gotta, I gotta heal him up, though. Wow, that went so well. <laughs> All right. I probably shouldn't use that strategy. I should be careful about using that again. Because if Vegan gets too much higher level than the rest of the team, the rest of the league's going to scale with him. So, I mean, he did only gain, like, one level from that. But... That was awesome. <laughs> All right, next, uh, next battle see what their strat is. Ice! Okay. I I feel like Gil is still a good lead because he's good against ice and actually four times resists ice. <laughs> Either that or this chick likes hail. In which case, let's actually, let's use Telsa. Lead with Telsa. Greetings. Slow snowfall gives a tranquil feeling, does it not? It's quiet and serene, but in the heat of battle, it hardens to cold, destructive hail. My name's Yuki. Michael, isn't it? I've been training for years with my Pokemon. I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to waste my breath. Okay. Ah, oh, heck. I hate ground types. Do I think I can Oko it? With an ice beam. Or do I switch to vegan? I think I switch to vegan. I gotta be safe. Because vegan's not actually weak to ice because of thick fat. Ah, heck. Alright. Seed bomb. Says it's super effective, but thick fat means that does half as much as it normally would. Alright. I predict she heals here, because I'm pretty sure we live another ice school crash, so I go for drain punch. Okay, she didn't heal. Heck. Alright, that's fine. She's probably gonna heal now. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I clicked Aura Sphere. Trevenant. Trevenant on a hail team? Oh my god, what is that? That's not, that's not a Trevenant. It just summons hail? What type is this thing? All 
I guess now it makes sense why she brought in a Trevenant on a Delta Blastoise. What type is it? It's Fairy Fighting. Balls. <laughs> I wish I had known that ahead of time, because that thing kills us. Fairy Fighting is going to be weak to Flying, which I don't have. Not Steel. And also, de definitely don't bring in Gil, because it's weak to the Fighting. I think Lumiere is our best switch, because Fairy Fighting, Fairy doesn't resist Fairy. But Fire resists Fairy. How did this thing summon Hail? <laughs> Snow Warning. I'm so confused. Overcoat? I mean, Overcoat. I guess if you have... S I guess Snow Warning is... Programmed so that if you have it, you can't get hurt by Hail? Is that how that works? Because this thing definitely is not an Ice type. But let's hope this Oko's. It's Pixie Plate boosted. Let's go. Starmie. This better be a regular freaking Starmie. Let's go Telsa for this. So we don't get hurt by the hail. Okay, we survived. This should, this should KO. Yeah, let's go. Chandelure. This has got to be a regular Chandelure. I swear to God, if it's not a regular Chandelure, and it's a del another Delta. Okay, all right. Would have been bad if it was a Delta. Why did I go off of Dark Pulse? Okay. Cryogonal. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna switch. I feel like I'm using Rafa. I don't. Same reason about Vegan. I wanna be careful and not let him get too over leveled. I don't think Cryogonal weighs very much. I mean, it floats after all. Oh! Whoa! Sleet makes it hail harder than ever? Whoa, that does a lot of damage. I don't like that. Okay, glad I went for heavy slam again. Yikes. All right, we gotta heal. This is definitely the hardest one we've done so far. Oh, that was dumb. Not expecting whatever this sleet nonsense is. Do we keep attacking or do we switch? I think we switch. I want to bring Raphael in, so I think I'm gonna sack Telsa here. Freeze dry. Oh hey. All right. Okay, that's fine. I intended to sack her. Oh, nice. That's great. Good timing. God, Raphael is so good. <laughs> He's so good. Rotom. Okay, this is going to be Fridge Rotom. It's going to be weak to steel fire. I'm gonna try and spread it around a bit more. Oh, so close. All right, I don't think we live another hit from this range. Okay, she healed too, that's fine. I 
don't like that paralysis. Oh! Oh, it didn't matter. It O-code that time. Oh, cool. I mean, that was definitely the toughest one so far. That sleep, that Mega Cryogonal was crazy. Man, all right, well. We gotta, we gotta fix the squad up. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. Who do I even have selected? Man, that is so bad. You, you, I have Telsa selected right now. You literally cannot tell the difference between, it's virtually not noticeable to see whether you've selected Telsa or Vegan. <laughs> okay, Paralyze Heal for... Where's... I have full heals. I just, if I have a Paralyze Heal, I should use it. Okay, I think I don't have, I don't think, I think I don't have it. I'm just using full heal. Alright. Alright, squad is back up to full after that spicy battle. And guys, I think that's actually where we're gonna, I'm gonna wrap this episode up. We are going to do the fourth Elite Four member and the champion, assuming we actually win. <laughs> if we don't win, then we'll have to do it all again. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to answer the comment question. Don't forget to check out Into the AM. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, got to catch them all.